Hey, welcome to the channel. So today I wanted to show you how in under five minutes you can create your very own t-shirt designs for free. That's right. So um, let's have a look at how to create t-shirts designs for free using one of my favorite platforms. It's a web-based um, software. Okay, it's canva.com. So feel free to sign up for your own account. And what I wanted to show you was templates. So sign up for your account, go to templates, and then you will see t-shirt over here. What I encourage you to do is, okay, it's got a Halloween filter there, but don't worry about that. You can search for t-shirts and plug in whatever niche you're looking for. But what I would do is go and have a look and see what designs are out there. Okay, there's a few you know, like rainbows or dad, these are kind of evergreen and Christmas, there's something holiday specific, Santa's little helper, you could just use this and pretty much uh, <laughs> roll with it and just change change the wording, keeping most of the graphics there. Um, take a look and have, um, have a look and see what, what, you, what, what you like and what might be a, a great custom gift for someone. So for example, this is quite a popular um, design at the moment where there's repeated words with essentially a box behind <laughs> one of the words and they change the colors of the words. So you can use this template by all means, click on that, use this template, but make sure that your print-on-demand provider uses the same size of the template here. So this one is 14 inches by 18 inches. If you were to use Merge by Amazon, for example, this would not work. But you can pretty much emulate the same design and change some things, okay? So let's say you wanted to create your own design in Merge by Amazon. 4500 by 5400 pixels. Let Canva load up. First thing to do is create the black background, which was already there. And what you can do is copy that, paste it in there. And I believe we need to make that a lot bigger. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't see anything. So you can make that a lot bigger. And I'll let you play with that, OK? And just see, see what fits what you're trying to accomplish. And what you need to do is have a little box at the back. So there's a box, copy that, paste that in. Again, resize it and see if that works. So this is now centered, all right? The position is backward. So now you've got red box, white word and font. And all we have to do is copy the white word twice and then We'll, um, well, actually, we'll copy the white word four times. So that's one, two, three, and four. And you'll see Canva automatically tries to snap things into place. So this one's red, and this one's red. So we'll go, this one is red. We'll change that color to red. And we'll change this color to red and you are good to go all you have to do is naturally do not use the same wording you know it's got to be suitable for you so you could you could do father Christmas and instead of father Christmas of that kind of fonts you might change it up to a 300 350 maybe there you go you might use a different different font. Um, so you might have to play around with it until you get what you need and replicate that. All right. So I, you have to customize any design that you're making. Okay. Otherwise you're just going to blend in with what everyone else is doing, which is just copied stuff. And I, I do not encourage copying anything. <laughs> that's, that's a very lazy way of designing anything. You don't have to be the world's best designer, but you do need to try to make an effort. And I'm on my journey. I'm trying to improve my graphics every every time I, I do one. Um, but I just wanted to show you today. You could sign up for canva.com, design your very own t-shirt designs um, in under five minutes.
there you go. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Oh, before I go, this is just a, a plug for Affinity. Okay, so what you can do is I went to Google, I typed in Affinity. This is a platform that I plan to look at. All right, so it's affinity.sarif.com, and this is a paid software. All right, but they're having a Black Friday sale, so 30% off everything. And in the coming weeks, I will probably try and use this a bit more. I, I feel it gives me a little of an upper hand when it comes to graphic design. And cost-wise, it's not as expensive as some of the others um, out there, okay? Um, namely, Adobe. Adobe has a, an excellent suite of software, but it's just a bit outside my um, discretionary expense at the moment. But Affinity is, is definitely within what I'm able to afford, okay? And of course, you don't have to get that to design anything. You're more than welcome to use Canva. Um, there's also another platform that I like. It's called Adobe Spark. Check out some of the videos I made on that one. You know, but don't feel you have to pay for any sort of graphic software if you don't want to, or if you're not able to at the moment. It, there, there's no harm in sticking with the free, free stuff. I use Canva quite often, actually. Um, so there we have it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and drop a comment. Do you like Canva? What other free software do you use? Let me know. And subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, turn the bell notification icon on so you get notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, everyone, have a great day.